All right, boys and girls, today's project is called Frame Your Dog in Bones and Paws. Materials you will need will be 12 by 12 white construction paper, pencil, ruler, erasers, permanent black marker, washable markers, crayons, and how to draw your dog pictures. Step one is to draw a square on your paper that is one and a half inches from the sides. It will look like a frame when you're done. Begin by measuring one and a half inches three times from the side of your paper and then draw a line. Turn your paper, measure one and a half inches again, and draw a line on that side. Repeat this on all four sides, and when you're done, you'll have a square in the middle looking like a frame. Step two is to separate each side of the frame into five sections. Begin by drawing a slanted line by each corner of the square, and then do two more lines between those, making it fairly even. Once you have done that, you're going to repeat that on all four sides. Remember, draw two lines close to the corners and then two lines in the middle. This will leave you with five spaces on every side. For step three, we're going to learn how to draw dog bones and paws. Begin with the dog bone. Draw two circles that look like a figure eight, and then another set of two circles that look a, like a figure eight. Connect it with the rainbow and then a smile and then erase the lines that are in between and you have a nice shaped dog bone. For the paw, you're going to draw kind of a curvy triangular shape and then draw four circles or ovals right above the point. Now you're going to draw dog bones and paws all the way around your frame. Start with the bone, then do your paw print. The next section has a bone and then a paw print. You're going to repeat this pattern all the way around until you have bones and dog prints all the way around your frame. Step four is to draw carefully over all your lines with a permanent marker. If you do not have a permanent marker, then I would wait until the very end of your project to outline the black. Just do all your coloring first. Once you have finished coloring the whole picture, you can go over the lines with a washable black marker. Step five is to choose the dog you want to draw and draw it inside the frame. Here are some of the images you have choices of for dogs. I do have the PDF in the YouTube description if you'd like to print them out. Now let's get started on the dog. I decided I wanted to do this little Scotty dog. So I'm carefully drawing my dog where I want to on my paper. Step six, where is your dog? You're gonna be adding details to the picture. He could be in the bedroom, he could be outside. My dog is in Scotland and he's out in the Highlands. So I'm adding a castle in the background and some trees. And then on the foreground, I'm adding some flowers on the field. Step seven, color your picture with crayons, not the bones and the paws. Try to make everything look as real as possible. There are a few ways to make that happen. Here's the grass. I start with the dark green and then a lighter green. Here's some wood. I do the texture and the grain on the wood and then color it light brown. Here's the fur, making the little lines and following the way the dog's fur would go. Think of how you would pet him if you were to pet him. Now for the trees, I'm doing the first one. It's kind of like a Christmas tree. Dark green and light green. And then the sky, I color really softly with the blue, leaving white spaces for the cloud. Then I can add a few birds. Now I'm beginning my picture, coloring. I started with the sky, then use some black to make some M shape for the birds. Use some green, I use some dark blue as well as light green to make different shades. Outline my castle in a dark brown and then color with light brown. Now I'm coloring the flowers in the field. I began my grass with a dark green going up and down the direction that the grass grows. And then once I got done with the dark green, I went ahead with a light green on top and that gives it more of a 3D look. I go back and I touch up those flowers a little bit more, make them a little bit bolder and color in the centers. And now for my dog. I start with the brown. I color a little bit hard, but not real super hard to get the first layer and then I go back over it with a 
firmer hand, making it a little bit darker brown, and then I went back with a little bit of black. Once I did that, I colored in the details of the nose and the eyes and outlined his body. Step eight, choose one marker color. We're gonna color each paw and space behind the bone. You're gonna go all the way around, creating a frame around your dog. Once you have done this, you are ready to show everyone your beautiful artwork.